What's up, tech fans? So it's the middle of 2021, and although video cards are scarce, a lot of people still are on the fence about whether to buy AMD or NVIDIA. So let's talk tech, video card style. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC, but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you want to buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. All right, so before we jump into the video, I would ask a kindness of you people out there, could you please like and share my video on social media? And if you like my style, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you know I'm making videos. So let's check things out. Traditionally, Nvidia and AMD were kind of on opposite sides of the fence. If you wanted to save money, you wanted to have a budget and be able to buy other stuff, you usually always chose an AMD card. Now, AMD has been famous throughout time for kind of lagging on drivers. Nvidia has always been much better as far as the driver's side of things go. In fact, it seems like almost weekly, I'm getting an NVIDIA update for drivers, where AMD is just not as fast on the driver side of things. Now, as far as technology goes, AMD has really come a long, long ways. But with that, there've been some changes that have really changed the dynamic of the entire situation. For one thing, AMD cards now are almost the same price as NVIDIA cards. That's right. So AMD, who was traditionally the guy you went to to save your cash, now cost almost as much as Nvidia. All right, so let's just go with those two points right off the bat. So we've got pretty much the same price. The drivers aren't always as updated by AMD, even though they are getting better before you people start throwing rocks and going crazy out there. It's just the facts and you know it. The driver side of things are better. Now, as far as like technologies go, Usually AMD is following up what Nvidia does. Now, that's not always the case. With Vulkan, AMD pretty much paved the way ahead of Nvidia on that particular tech, and it's one of the few times in the video card side of things that AMD actually pioneered something. Usually what you see is you see things on the Nvidia side first, okay? It's just the fact, you know? You had Nvidia monitors that had G-Sync, then all of a sudden you add AMD with FreeSync. And FreeSync has gotten better. They have FreeSync Premium, FreeSync Premium Pro. Those particular two technologies I think are pretty competitive. Now, another thing though is, is that 360 Hertz monitors are what I'm seeing a lot more prevalent on the Nvidia side of things. I'm not seeing a whole lot of 360 Hertz monitors on the AMD side of things. And this has to do with some of the other technologies. Now, like I said, traditionally, AMD is following Nvidia. It's usually Nvidia who comes out with the technology and then, you know, AMD follows suit. Now, there's been a lot of controversy, I mean a lot of controversy over ray tracing. Some people are saying that, you know, AMD was doing ray tracing before Nvidia. Well, you know what, even if that even is a bit true, the first people to bring it to market and actually have a ray tracing solution was Nvidia. So once again, regardless of what's going on in the background, as far as the public goes, and that means you and me, Nvidia was first to market with ray tracing technology. And no, Nvidia did not invent ray tracing. Ray tracing was actually invented back in the 18th century. That's how old ray tracing is. I mean, really, it's nothing new. The only thing that Nvidia did was bring it to the table first. 
Now, there are some other technologies, and I'll be actually making a video on this very soon, that I think that make NVIDIA a little bit better for people who are really competitive gamers. One of these technologies is reflex technology, and this reduces the latency between the time that you click your mouse and the time that your weapon fires or swings in the game that you're playing. Now, currently, I think there are like, I'm not, don't, I think there's right now, I think there's 13 games that in total support reflex, but when milliseconds really count in a game, and I'm talking about sometimes milliseconds can result in people losing tournaments that cost millions of dollars. The reflex technology at this point can't be touched by AMD. AMD has similar technologies, but it's not exactly the same thing. What I feel like is a lot of times AMD really is trying to still bring things to the market without putting any additional charge on it, even though I don't know how successful they're being, you know, in that particular department because, well, their cards are, you know, kind of high priced. I do know that AMD is currently, though, getting ready to release a new card. I believe we're going to be seeing the 6600 XT really, really shortly here. And then we'll have to see, you know, where that's going to sit in with the NVIDIA stuff. Now, like I said earlier in the video, traditionally, AMD was the company that you went to because you wanted to save money. But when you eliminate that factor all the way and you're seeing the 6800 XT card go for $1,400 and $1,500, I mean, that's pretty much almost what the same price of, you know, some of the NVIDIA cards are going for. Now, I do think that NVIDIA cards, if you go look at in the market, are still selling for a wee bit more but that's because nvidia is actually the true leader of the video card industry nvidia is up here amd is right below them amd has not completely caught up with nvidia yet in those things and for people out there who are competitive gamers and people out there who make money off of playing games i personally feel that an NVIDIA card and an NVIDIA solution, which a 360 hertz monitor, having the great latency of reflex, I think these things matter. So if you're a casual gamer or you're a semi-hardcore gamer, but you're not playing games to make money and you're not going to like lose money, you know, I think that AMD cards are very competitive in the market. They're still a wee bit cheaper than NVIDIA, but here's the thing. Right now, the landscape for video cards is completely ridiculous. Anywhere you try to find a video card, right at this current second, they're still above MSRP. Now, I did a video last week where John Petty Research has done some, some, some ana analysis, excuse me, and they found out that a lot of retailers and e-tailers are actually focusing their market to actually eliminate scalpers, miners, and people who just buy a bunch of cards to turn around either resell them or use them for mining or whatever. And if that happens, we should see prices start to go back to normal. Now, if that actually happens, I do think that AMD cards will, like I said, will be a little bit lower in price. But if you're a person out there and you make money off of gaming, you're a totally pro hardcore gamer, you want the best that you can get then I feel that NVIDIA is the better solution for you overall. Also, I always welcome comments down below. Just don't be hateful because hateful comments don't do anything. I'll just delete them because it makes no sense to it. Nobody wants to deal with hate. Nobody. I don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with it. So as long as you're respectful in the comments and think about what you're saying and you present it, I'll leave your comment there and I'm willing to hear what you have to say. But from my perspective, casual gaming, semi-pro gaming, AMD cards are just fine. They work great. They have similar technologies across the board to NVIDIA. Are they the exact same technologies? No, they're not. They're basically AMD's version of those technologies. That's just how it is. Now, I have to tell you though, playing with a 360 hertz monitor, I have an X25 Predator. I'm telling you right now that it's just incredible because when you click your mouse, Within one frame, one frame, and you know everything used to be measured in frames per second, within one frame after you click your mouse, your gun is shooting and you're hitting your target. Now, there are all kinds of examples that I'll be bringing. I'll be bringing you guys a full video and telling you guys why I really like Reflex and I think it's just an incredible technology along with the monitor. And I'll be telling you guys how you can do your own testing as well to show that. 
But at the end of the day, that's what I honestly feel the difference between AMD and Nvidia is in mid 2021. Plus, let's just be honest. When there aren't really any video cards available for MSRP anyways, you're gonna be paying out the nose. In some ways, it's kind of irrelevant because a lot of people just aren't buying video cards, period. They're just not doing it. I mean, a lot of people do not have the cash to go out and spend, you know, three and four times the amount of what the face value of a card is to buy a video card. It's just ridiculous. If you go on eBay and some of these other stores, and it's really a shame because I've heard that Micro Center and other people are doing this, you're starting to see gouging from actually the companies that you trust, which I think is totally a backstab to the consumer because these companies aren't paying Nvidia or AMD more money for these cards. They're only charging more money to you and me, and that's total BS. Tell me what you guys think. So that's my take on AMD versus NVIDIA in 2021. It's not a super long video because I mean, I could sit there and compare every single tech across the board. It would probably be like a half an hour, 45 minute video. I don't even know if anybody would really want to watch that much because we all know that the technology that AMD is bringing to the table are very similar to NVIDIA's, right? They've got G-Sync, FreeSync, they've got lower latency, these guys got lower latency. And they, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. There's just, the technologies are very, very similar. But the thing that I feel about NVIDIA that I think is a more positive thing is that 98% of the time, NVIDIA is the first person, or the first company rather, to bring these technologies to the market. Now, I know a lot of other people will say, oh man, I'm not gonna buy NVIDIA. They have bad business practices. I'm telling you right now that AMD has bad business practices practices as well. There's a reason why I don't review a lot of their products because they try to control the reviewer and everything a reviewer says. If you don't believe me, I made a video about this before about a guy named Roy, and I'm not going to mention his last name, but he actually quit AMD because of this, because AMD would basically make him go around and bully reviewers. So if you think that every AMD review out there that you're seeing is a true and honest review, you are absolutely wrong. So, you know, NVIDIA may play extreme hardball. Yeah, they've done stupid Who We all know they have, but AMD does stupid stuff too. They just do it in a different way. You're not hearing AMD being called out for trying to control the market. Instead, they try to control what everybody says about their cards. And if they don't like what you say about their cards, you won't be getting sampled unless your numbers are just so great that they're just like, Okay, you know, because there's an old saying that there's no such thing as bad publicity. If you're getting publicity, whether it's bad or good, then hey, that's great. So people like Linus, Gamers Nexus, and other channels that have these huge numbers, they'll probably always get sampled no matter what they say. But smaller channels who are trying to be more competitive will definitely be controlled by AMD. NVIDIA has never once in my entire life ever complained about a video never said to me, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. They just let me say what I like. And I even made recently a video where I did not like an NVIDIA card whatsoever. I just thought it was kind of a complete, you know, waste of market space. I didn't get a phone call from NVIDIA saying, oh my God, why did you do this? But I can guarantee you that if I was working with AMD and I said that about their card, I would be getting phone calls and I would not be getting sampled again. So something to think about before you just go, oh, I don't like NVIDIA's business practices. AMD does dirty stuff just the same. It's just in a different way that they do it. So thanks for watching the video. Please leave your comments down below. Like I said earlier, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and share this video on social media. And if you like my style, then sub the channel and hit that notification bell. Also, all of those Windows keys in the beginning that I showed you are all guaranteed by me and the company. I've been working with them for a long time. If you have a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon, or I have a link down below where you can try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days, and that still gives me some money to keep the channel rolling. So peace out, leave your comments, and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech.